Today we'll make a Valentine sign from a Dollar Tree bag and a thrifted frame. Keep watching. All right, we're gonna start with some picks that came from Dollar Tree, some roses, some hearts, whatever you like. I'm going to take a variety of ribbons, some I may use, some I may not. The wired ones are the ones that I prefer. This bag came from the regular bag section at Dollar Tree. I think it's a wedding bag. Yep, looks like it. Very pretty. And I'm going to repurpose this Christmas sign that I made. I'm gonna start by removing the embellishment from the frame. We can recycle that for another project or add it to the thrift bag. And I'm just gonna gently pop out the foam board frame uh, backing. Now I'm going to clean up the back of the frame a little bit, get some of the stuff off of it, because I don't want the bulk of that glue to hold it away from the backing. So I'm gonna clean that off. And I'm gonna take this bag off. The bag also came from Dollar Tree. It was a Christmas project that I did. I'm just gonna pull all that off and we are gonna use the back of this again. Don't worry if there's a little bit of tearing, a little bit of extra glue on there, some remnants of the paper, whatever. It won't matter because it's gonna be covered up. And I'm just gonna try to get the bulky parts off to make it a smoother surface. I usually use a um, glue stick, but I'm gonna use hot glue today to put this on here. So you're gonna start by removing your uh, hangers there, your um, I don't know, the totes, whatever you want to call it, the ribbon. You're going to take that off, open up your bag, and lay it out. I think my frame is a 16 by 20. It was a canvas that I took off and used the frame. I'll try to link that video for you so you can get more specifics. I am going to cut this out and then lay it down, get an idea of exactly how I want this to fit. And I like it like that. I like the coloring of the frame, the natural color, so I will not be painting it for this project. Now where I get it exactly where I want it, I'm just gonna hold it down with my hand and start adding my hot glue by just flipping up a little bit at a time so that it is still centered exactly where I want it on that backing. Nothing to it. Easy to do. The little folded sections, the creases are not going to show, so don't worry about that piece. It's going to be close to the edge of the frame, so it's really not going to be that noticeable. It won't be sloppy looking when we're done. Go all the way around the edges, top, bottom, and each side to make sure that it lays flat. Be sure that you are not making any, I don't know, lines, creases, or bubbles when you're gluing it down. You don't want to have a bunch of mess in there. You want it to be relatively flat. Just like that. So there's an idea of how it's going to look once we get it in the frame. I'm going to quickly add some glue just in the top two corners and then put that back down on there. You can use clamps, clips, whatever, but you need something to hold this down because it's not flat and it will bow away and you won't have um, a nice closed seal. So you want to be sure you use some clips. These are clips from Dollar Tree in the laundry section. They work really good for these wider pieces. And then go ahead and go down adding glue where you need it along the sides and the bottom corners and put clamps on those spots too. We're going to use one of the ribbon hangers or ribbon handles and make a hanger for the back. That's all you have to do right there. We're gonna get the most of our buck from this bag. So once we got a simple little tie there, we are going to glue that on the back side. I'm just trying to get it centered here. 
tells you how big that the backing is, so how big the frame is. And then there you go. Found my center for my hanger. If you don't hang it in the center, it might go crooked on you and then it'll be kind of crooked on the wall. So just check on that before you put it on. And now I'm going to start on some embellishments. This is a wired burlap ribbon. I think it's a two inch ribbon. One and a half inch, two inch. It came from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to fold it over so that I have two loops on each side. See, count that, two loops on each side, folding it over on itself. There's no print, so we don't have to worry about that on this ribbon. I'm going to fold it in the center, and I'm going to make sure that the, the little gingham bow that goes on top is just a little bit shorter than it is. And I'm going to do, I think I have six loops on this one, three on each side. But it's going to be a little bit smaller than the one that's underneath because we're going to stack it on top. It makes a pretty little bow that looks, reminds me of a flower, I think. You can decide. We're going to cut that off. See how it's a little smaller? Now find your center. And then you're just going to use your scissors to make little cuts through the wire on each side little bitty cuts you don't want to cut through it because you'll cut it in half do the same thing here on the bigger ribbon that's going to give the jute string that you use or your floral wire whatever you decide to use something to grip onto and it makes it easier to keep your bow in one piece while you fluff it out and get the shape that you like You can see how it sinks into those little cut spaces. That's what we want it to do. Good, tight, double knot there. And then you can begin to pull and twist your pieces, your loops, out and away from one another. Do that on both sides. So we have sort of an X in the back with the two on each side. And on the top, we have six little pieces. It's going to be so cute. It's going to be cute, y'all. Just wait. All right, we're going to make tails for the ribbon by using whatever length you like of a piece of burlap and then also the pink and white gingham to go on top of that. It's going to be layered just like the bow. You could always leave this part off if you wanted to. I think it looks wispy and romantic, so I'm going to add it. Pinch it in the center and fold it over. Same thing with this one. Pinch in the center and fold it over, and that gives our tails. We're going to turn it around, place it in the center of that burlap, about mm, half inch or inch up, and then make sure you're getting both pieces in there, and tie a few knots to hold it down. Go ahead and trim off your excess, whatever you have left there. And you can start to see how this pretty bow is going to look. It's going gonna, it's gonna to need some fluffing, but we have a little more work to do. Decide if you want it in the center or on the sides. There I am with the left side again. I just like them there. Add some hot glue. And you're going to grab that bow. Place it right up there, and then you can take a clamp and hold it down. Make sure that it stays nice and flat. Very, very thin, thin line of glue on your ribbon against the frame and onto that upper ribbon to hold it in place. Once it is nice and dried up there, you can begin to fluff out your bow. And it does remind me of a little flower. Isn't that cute? It's such a simple bow. 
Use whatever color ribbon is going to match the bag that you choose. They have a variety of gorgeous, gorgeous bags. So don't just look in the holiday section or for Valentine's stuff. Be sure that you go to the uh, back of the store, wherever they keep their gift bags, and just see what you can find. I, I really think these are part of a wedding variety. So here are some Valentine picks, just little glittery sequined hearts. I chose white. They also have pink and red, I believe. And we're going to put that right in the middle of our flower bed. These are little pit berry pieces that I had left over from Christmas. Pretty sure you can still get them now. And I wanted to make some little flyaways with this, so I'm just going to take my pencil and twist this around and make a little curly doodad. And I, now I have two of them, so I'm going to put one on the top right under the bow in the glue. And I've added some hot glue to that. I'm going to add a little hot glue on this one and tuck right under the bottom part. I think this is just too cute. I love this bow. It's got to be one of my favorites. And there you go. I also want to show you on the bottom, I don't have the footage, I don't know what happened, but if you look in the right corner, I'm going to freeze this. That little bow is two loops like the first one with a heart in the middle, a little twisty in there, and a rosebud right on top of it. Sorry I didn't have that footage. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to, some, to all of my subscribers, and I will see you again soon. Bye!